guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so today, I've actually got a really interesting move here. Um, but for this video, I've got the camera zoomed in a lot. So sorry that it's such a close-up and personal view here. Um, but this move is actually pretty advanced. Um, now, not the actual maneuver itself, but fooling people with it is fairly difficult. So I'll show you. I've got a pair of fours here and the Joker. Um, now, I want to switch it out. Uh, for let's just say the Ace of Hearts. Now I want to do this without you knowing. So I would have the cards sandwiched like this. Um, I'd have my uh, Joker in here sandwiched uh, just like so, right? Um, and we'd go and place it on top um, and I'll show you we have the four, then our Joker, um, and then the uh, then just the final four right here, okay? Um, so I'll show you, we'll go ahead and pull everything out, and you'll see that I have now switched the card out for the Ace of Hearts. So this move is pretty advanced. Um, the only thing, uh, like I said earlier, is just fooling people. Um, so let's go ahead and get into how this is done. So to start off, you have your pair of cards with your sandwich. You can either load it, just um, you know, have the two fours, um, just have both fours, uh, take them out, get a pinky break. Boom, set them on top, collect the break, you've got three cards, bang, pull off the top card, now you just sandwich that card. So, um, once you've got the cards sandwiched, and the card you want to replace it with is going to be on top, in our case, the Joker. So you're going to get a break just by doing a pinky pushover, or you can pinky count it like that. Um, I personally like pinky pushover, just a little bit better to get a break under one card, um, but you know, you can do either. Now, um, here's what you're going to do, you're going to set this whole entire pack on top of the break okay and now you're gonna just take off the first card boom and you're gonna out jog it like that okay this next card you can show is the ace of hearts or maybe you don't want to show it doesn't matter um, then you leave it flush on the deck with all the other cards so right now the only card that's out jogged is the four now you've actually got two cards here whoopsies uh, now you've actually got two cards on the other four right um, so this is actually the um, the Joker and the four back to uh, back to back. So you're gonna place the Joker on top of the Ace right here. Okay, bang. Now here's the cool part. You're gonna pull back the four to reveal this card, which is the Joker, the very top card here. And you're gonna make it flush with the other four. Then you're gonna pull this next four upwards, and then just in one quick sweeping motion, you just pull it out. Because if you do it slowly, here's what it's gonna look like. Um, you have all the cards uh, out jogged here, um, just like so, right? So all the cards are out jogged. If you pull it out slowly like this, you'll see, they'll see they're interlocked. So you just want to pull out straight forward and out quickly. So guys, that's practically the move. I'm gonna go over it one more time, um, just because it is uh, it is pretty advanced. So um, you've got the card sandwiched, bang, uh, and you want to replace it. So collect your break, one card break. Collect all the cards, out jog the first card, then put the next card in just normal. You can even show it. It's a joker. Bang, you've got the ace on top of the four right here. Um, then pull the four back, pull the ace forward, because this card right here, um, this card right here is the ace. Uh, now the ace is on top of the four, except there's still a card between. Um, and then you're going to pull the four flush with the rest of the cards. Now, right now, your setup is this. What you're going to do is you're just going to pull it out like that so they can't see. And so it looks like you haven't done anything, but you've actually done something very suspicious, which is switching the card. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe what you thought of this move. And um, do you think it's convincing? Let us know all that down below. Uh, and with that, I'll see you all in the next video.